Good day, everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. So we got us a we got us a guest today, as you'll see here. Old Donatello. Yeah, he wouldn't leave me alone. He's like, bro, I want to ride with you. And I was like, you know what? Why not? And then he wanted to sit in the middle between the uh, two seats here. And I was like, but you got to wear your seatbelt. And he was like, bro, I'm not even real. And I was like, that is a good point, Donatello. Very good point. That is why you are the smartest turtle. So, and that is why he is the smartest turtle. So, okay, today, let's see. What is that? Oh, yeah, he's reminding me of the topic. The topic of today is TMNT versus Motu, Masters of the Universe. Okay, guys, so I know there's a lot of controversy out there on this topic as far as uh, which one's best, which one's the best cartoon, which one's the best action figure line, which one had the best storyline, yada, 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 etc., 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 Okay, so let's see here. Let's do the breakdown. It'll be TMNT versus Masters of the Universe. And the clear winner in this one is Thundercats. Thundercats! Woo! Yes, Thundercats. What? Yeah, he didn't like that too much, I don't think. What was that again? Nope. No. No, I'm not. No. He wants me to let y'all know that he's the best turtle. I know y'all might not agree with that, but save his feelings. He, he wants to be the best. So he's the best. But, okay, so let's see. The reason I say this with uh, Thundercats is because Thundercats had a more mature feeling to me. Had a, uh, like a darker storyline. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Let's put you over here. Let's say get him out of the way. All right, so had a more mature storyline to me as a kid growing up. And um, I don't know, I think Mamra just felt more of a villain to me than a uh, Shredder or Skeletor. But I mean, it's not to say Skeletor didn't feel, didn't feel like a villain to me, but Skeletor, he's Skeletor. There, there's no, you can't categorize him into villainy because, or villainy, 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 whatever the word is. But um, it's hard to categorize him because I feel like he is his own category. Skeletor is Skeletor. He's just a funny, like, nemesis to, to He-Man who obviously was the chump of the show. Where Skeletor was the man. That is, uh, that's obvious. That's facts. So... If y'all want to tell me some alternative facts on that, y'all can in the comments, but we, we all know He-Man was the chump of that story. But um, with that said, when you look at TMNT, you got Shredder and Krang. Krang was cool. Krang was one of my favorite characters along with uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. I thought they were cool as hell. Um, Shredder, Shredder was kind of a chump too. I mean, he was cool looking and had a, a cool effect. I love the art style of the Ninja Turtle cartoon. And, uh, and the comic books. Like, I know the comic books were really good, too. Um, Masters of the Universe did have a comic book, but I believe they were just little comics inside the figures. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong on that. Let me know in the comments if uh, Masters of the Universe actually had a, a comic book line. Not that I couldn't Google it, but I'd rather y'all tell me because y'all can tell me some stuff that I might not be able to find on Google. Um, and Thundercats, I do not think they had... A comic book line, but I'm not. I'm not sure on that. That's something I would like to know because I would. I would be into reading something like that. That would be cool. Um, give me just a minute. Let me put my storage code in here. But yeah, so the reason I say that uh, Thundercats is the best is based solely on the fact that. It had a more mature setting for me. Mumra felt more like a, uh, like a more villain. Like I don't know. He just had this weird vibe with him that 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 set with me really well. Not to mention his uh, henchmen. They were really cool. And not to take anything away from Masters of the Universe because they had some some awesome awesome uh, henchmen too. Um, Trap Jaw, Beast Man, whatnot. Um, 
where TMNT had the foot. I mean, they had Rock City and Bebop, but basically the foot was the main, <clears throat> the main ones you see running around. But, but yeah, I would say uh, Thundercats is probably one of my favorite cartoons of growing up. Like I said, I was a little young on the Masters of the Universe. It was a, I was born in '79. That's uh, would it come out in '83? So I was what four. So I was probably digging the cartoons back then, but don't really remember too much about it. Um, as I got older, I watched them a little more. But uh, <clears throat> excuse me, TMNT was more of my forte on that one, as far as which cartoon I was really into. But Thundercats definitely was uh, was something that stuck with me. Um, outside of those three, though, I would say. I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of cartoons like that that I was into. Um, but I would have to say out of Master of the Universe and TMNT, the clear champion for me would be TMNT. Um, if we're not counting Thundercats. And we are counting Thundercats. We always count Thundercats. But, uh, yeah. Well, Donatello here is uh, telling me I need to go in here and pick. So... I am about to just cut this short and uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this subject and uh, let me know why you think that Donatello isn't the best turtle. They'll let you know, buddy. No, they'll let you know. Trust me. All right. Keep doing you.